I'm Alan Kenny, Managing Editor with REIT.com, and I'm in San Diego at REIT World 2012, NAREIT's annual convention. Joining me is Mark Decker, Jr., Managing Director of Real Estate Investment Banking with BMO Capital Markets. So, Mark, how do you see M&A activity playing out in 2013? Do you think we'll have more activity than we've seen in 2012? Yeah, thanks, Alan. I think, uh, I think we will see more activity in 2013. Uh, 2012 was a relatively light year. 2011 was a big year, uh, dominated by a couple of large transactions. But uh, there's a number of large private equity funds that have just closed new funds. There's a number of REITs uh, with very attractive currencies. And then there are some companies with uh, less attractive currencies. And I think uh, those are all the ingredients for some pretty active uh, M&A. And so then looking more at a sector level, are there any that you think might be more active than others? Yeah, I think uh, healthcare. I think we'll continue to see a lot of activity. They're playing with, you know, dollar and forty cent dollars right now, essentially with the NAV premiums that they're trading at, uh, which obviously uh, I think means the market's pricing in a fair amount of growth and, and also signaling that they like a lot of these transactions. But uh, the demographics are there. Um, it's a space that certainly can continue to be consolidated. The idea structure adds a lot of flexibility. Uh, so I think we'll continue to see that. I think self storage is emerging as another one that is trading at a pretty significant premium and is still very um, fragmented. So I think we'll continue to see activity there. And then I think uh, hopefully as the cycle deepens, some of these other sectors like office will uh, will see their fundamentals improve and their currencies improve. And so lastly, when private players and REITs are competing for portfolios or even just one-off properties, in this environment, who's got the advantage? Yeah, I think I think it continue the sort of have and have not theme, which I think we've seen for the last few years continues, and I think on balance the public players do have um, the advantage. I mean, they don't, they aren't, they are not able to lever as much as a private buyer might. But uh, I'd also say the number of sources that will allow private buyer to lever, uh, you know, seventy percent plus is uh, not as large as it was five years ago, and certainly CMBS is coming back. There's some other things in the market that we think will start to change that. But right now, it's really a bull market for credit, and uh, and the REITs are some of the best credit and have some of the best access to multiple products. So we think we think on balance they continue to have the advantage, and uh, I would expect for 2013 that continues. All right, Mark, always a pleasure. Thank you. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis from REIT World 2012, be sure to check out REIT.com. Mm -hmm.